Japan for many years has been investing in emerging markets including Africa and the Middle East. Today we shall discuss some key issues involved in such investments. Nihon wa naganen kaihatsu tojou koku, Afrika, Chuto nado ni toshi o shite orimasu. Kyo wa sono toshi ni kansuru key point ni tsuite hanashi o sashite itadakimasu. Hello, my name is Ian Coles.、Uh, I am the head of Mayor Brown's global mining practice and the co head of Mayor Brown's global Africa practice. In connection with Africa, we have worked in 32 out of 54 of the African jurisdictions. So, very familiar with the unique challenges of doing business in Africa and the sensitivities of clients doing business there. We know that many of our clients are very cautious about investing in Africa, particularly. In some of the jurisdictions where there are political issues, such as the DRC. We're very conscious of those issues and have advised many large corporations on strategic investments in countries throughout the continent. We understand the Japanese have already made investments in Mozambique and Kenya. Those are two countries which we are very familiar with and have assisted clients in making strategic investments in both of them. I'm Kojo Sarkodi, and I've had the privilege of being able to advise clients in relation to a number of major disputes and international arbitrations involving investment in Africa. But of course, engaging in Africa carries risks, and that requires a clear strategy for risk management. A key element of that, in turn, is international arbitration. And that's where the advice of a London centred、um, firm and practice such as us. With deep experience in relation to international arbitration and dispute resolution and risk mitigation in the region, can be of assistance to Japanese clients. So, concerns which can arise and which make dispute resolution and risk management so absolutely key include matters such as perceived lack of judicial independence,、uh, unclear regulatory regimes,、uh, potential for government change and dramatic change of policy which might follow it. All of those create concerns for investors, particularly when entering markets. In Sub Saharan Africa for the first time. Now, one common means of mitigating some of these issues can be entering into joint venture with a local partner or indeed a, par a party from a third country with an experienced track record of investing and doing business in that particular jurisdiction. But that, of course, carries its own risks surrounding issues such as anti bribery compliance andor general compliance with regulations. So, underpinning all of that is again the importance of a clear strategy with regard to dispute resolution. And central to that are the benefits offered by international arbitration. The legal systems across African countries vary widely and are based on a number of different、uh, legal traditions, both common、uh, and civil law roots. Many of these countries have common law systems which are broadly based on English law.、Uh, this means that English law and English seat of arbitration and indeed place of arbitration is a common means and an effective means of, of risk management. That's something that should be considered from the outset, and some of the benefits resolving disputes in London using laws which are either similar to or indeed firmly based upon English law is an effective way of managing the strategy. A further means of potentially protecting investments can be via the bilateral investment treaties, which multiple African countries have signed with countries all over the world. Japan has signed two bilateral investment treaties with Sub Saharan African countries,、uh, Kenya and Mozambique. However, structuring investments through third countries, for instance, such as the UK, can allow investors to have the benefit of the numerous bilateral investment treaties which the UK and other countries have signed with countries on the African continent. A further development, however, is a move which we've seen in South Africa and are now seeing in Tanzania. Of moving away from bilateral investment treaties, which have been signed over the past years. And indeed, those countries have given notice that they are revoking and cancelling a number of treaties with European countries. That serves to highlight the importance of being clear at the outset as to what treaties are in place, what protections they offer, and how those protections might best be availed. So it is therefore clear that while there is a degree of elevated risk when investing and doing business in Africa, particularly when entering markets for the first time, These are risks that can be effectively mitigated and managed. Central to that mitigation strategy are the benefits offered by international arbitration. Benefits which can be enhanced with the certainty, firm laws, and strong track record of arbitration based in the United Kingdom.